Greetings, 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 my V family all over the world. This is your chief back from Istanbul. Unbelievable trip. I've fallen in love with the city, Istanbul. I met leaders from all over Central Asia, all over that region. It was a great reunion in Istanbul. David Sharma was there. Said Amir was there. So many other V ambassadors were there. All right. My warriors from Kazakhstan were there. All right. And um, it was a magical trip. And now I'm back in Malaysia. And you won't believe it. Since the time I landed in Malaysia, I had not, no time to eat, no time to go to the bathroom. It's been busy, 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 busy because the great one is in town. The one and only Dato Sri Vijay Ishwaran. And he was here. And when my mentor is in town, I don't have time to do anything. I try my best to stay in his zone, to learn, to apply. It's just been unbelievable. And now, the next three weeks, our focus is VCon, 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 planning VCon, the, finish, the finishing touches to VCon. It's going to be the most unbelievable event in the V history. I promise you this. There's something extra special, extra magical about this VCon in September. It's going to be our anniversary VCon. So technically, it's our first anniversary because this is the first year of the next 25 years. I've been talking to our great founders, Japa and Dato Sri Vijay. They are super excited about VCon. Arun, Adli, Sati, David, Adli is here in Malaysia. We've been chatting and planning with uh, V partner Kalai how we're going to take the program of VCon to the another level this year. All right, this VCon coming in 12th to 16th of September. So I said this a million times. In the early days, everyone would think, should I come to VCon or not? It was like a choice, like a decision you have to make. But today, I'm telling you, it is no longer a choice. It is a necessity. You must come to VCon. You don't have a choice. All right? If you don't come to VCon at least once a year, you're going to go off track, I promise you. You come to VCon once a year, it will keep you on track. It will keep you focused, switched on for 12 months before the next VCon when you come back home. Now, why does Dato Sri Vijay always say, welcome home? Because I think today, wherever you are in the world, whether you are in Almaty or Cote d'Ivoire, all right, whether you are in Germany, whether you're in India, Indonesia, all right, Dubai, it doesn't matter. Right? That's where you live. That's where you build your business. But ever since you became a member of Dato Sri Vijay's family, VCon is home. So if you remember, as we are growing up, we leave our home. We go out there all right, to earn a living, to build our dreams, to build our lives. But no matter who you are, where you are, we always come back home at least once a year for Eid, for Christmas, for Diwali, for Chinese New Year. Some reason we will come back home. Because home is where you started your journey of life. Home is where the first time you found your dream. Home is where you feel the safest. Home is where you're surrounded by people who think like you, your family, your loved ones. And today, to all of you, VCon is home. So I'm not telling you to come to an event. 
I'm not telling you to come to the greatest networking event in the world. I'm simply telling you as your chief, as your upline, representing Japa and Dato Sri Vijay, the great ones, 12th to 16th of September, come back home. Come back home to the greatest family reunion of the V. So come back home. It's not a choice. It is a necessity. So I want to see you at VCon. Are you guys with me? And on this Wednesday message, it's time for me to do what I do every few months. That is to ask you to ask yourself, all right, some difficult questions. Because whether you are brand new, whether you are building for six months or 10 years, whether you're max out king or queen, it doesn't matter. As you move along this journey, it is natural for us for a few things to happen. First, all right, we go off track. We lose our sense of direction. We forget why we are on this journey to begin with. We get distracted by the noise that we hear around us. All right, we get distracted by the opinions of the people around us. And we get distracted with life. And when you get distracted with life, you're supposed to be on this track to max out. And sometimes you get deviated this way and you're going somewhere else. And secondly, your ego starts to convince you either that this won't work for you, that it's too difficult, that the rejection is too painful, and starts to convince you on the stupidity of your ego. And you start to listen to your ego. And that's extremely dangerous on this journey. Number three, you don't work hard anymore. You think you're working hard, but you are not. All right? You believe you're working hard, but you are not. So here's my questions that you should ask yourself. And the first question that I want to ask all of you, and I call this the audit. You know, when uh, somebody audits your accounts as a company, let's call this the audit of your QNET journey, the audit of your life, all right, of QNET. First question I want to ask you, and this is the most important question, and you must be able to answer this question. Do you still remember your dream? Do you still remember why you started this journey? Do you really, really remember the dream that you found at VCon on day two in the morning when I go up to speak and listen to the music of Latika? Do you remember why you're doing this? Do you remember why you started this journey with us? You need to answer this question. You need to pull out your dream list or maybe close your eyes and play Latika music on the background and remember your dream. Because a lot of people, as they keep building this business, as they get busy building this business, they get so busy doing something that they forget why they are doing this. And without the why, everything you do will not be effective. Everything you do will not create the results you want if you forget why you're doing this. I've been building this business for 26 years. All right? And the reason I'm still here today still building this business for Japa and Dato Sri around the world because I know my why. I'm not the greatest networker. I'm not the smartest person on the planet. I'm a moron with a dream. But a dream I'm willing to fight for, a dream I'm willing to die for. And you need to remember what your dream is because without the dream, everything you do will not give you the desired results. You need to know why. So ask yourself this question. Do you still remember your dream? The second question I want to ask you, and be honest with yourself. You don't have to answer me, answer yourself. You can lie to me, but you can't lie to yourself. Are you really working hard enough? Be honest. Are you really, really working hard enough? Are you really pushing yourself out of your comfort zone every day? Or are you sitting around holding hands and singing Kumbaya? When I was actively building my network from 1998, I swear to you, I didn't have time to eat. I didn't have time 
to sleep. I was so busy building and doing the work. I don't think I've ever worked that hard in my life. And today, after 26 years, I think I'm working even harder. So me as your upline and I'm financially free, I should not be working harder than you. So there's something wrong. You got to ask yourself this question. Are you really working hard? Are you really paying the price? Are you really doing what you're supposed to be doing? Or are you hiding behind some excuses? Or are you trying to be an expert in network marketing and not do the real work? So ask yourself, be honest with yourself. Are you really working hard? Are you really pushing yourself to the max? Are you really reaching your limitless potential? If you're doing one presentation a day, why can't you do five presentations a day? Don't give me this bull sugar. There's no, no enough prospects. There is 8 billion people in the world. And today you got Zoom. You got social media. You can connect with people in two seconds online. And you are telling me that you have a limitation on how many presentations you can do. I cannot believe this. So ask yourself this honest question. Do you really feel, especially if you're full time and you quit your job and you're doing this QNET business full time, that the future of your children, your future, your financial future is dependent on you. Ask yourself, are you really working hard enough? What did you do the whole of yesterday? What did you do on Sunday? What did you do on Saturday? How much time did you sleep? How much time did you sit down and drink coffee, hold hands and sing Kumbaya or the movies you watch? How much time did you waste the last four days? The last four days, I can tell you, I wasted maximum two hours a day. I slept for four hours, five hours. So that's seven hours. Do you understand? So the balance, six, 17 hours, I was doing something towards the dream, towards the goal, towards the vision of Dato Sri Vijay. So ask yourself, are you working hard enough? Are you really pushing yourself hard enough? The third question I have for you is, are you still asking questions? I met my amazing downlines from Kazakhstan and I was talking to them and I made a statement to them that I'm making to you. Stop looking for answers. Life is not a mystery to be solved. Life is meant to be lived to the maximum. So stop creating doubt in your mind. You know all the answers. Right? There is no question that you don't know the answer to. That's why when you listen to my Wednesday message, when you listen to my Insta Live, when you listen to Dato Sri Vijay and Japa on stage, and they say something and you go like, Ah, I knew it. There is no question that you do not know the answer to. You know what you're supposed to do in this business. You know everything. But you choose to create doubt or self-doubt in your own mind to look for a chance to ask another question to your upline. Another question. After you get the answer, you ask another question. You get another answer, you ask another question. Do you know why? You're finding excuses to justify, to rationalize your lack of success. I still remember the first time Dato Sri Vijay gave me the sphere of silence in 2005 in Dubai. He gave me the book. I still have it. He wrote in the book, Patma Silan, my full name. All the answers you seek are within you, not without. All the answers you seek are within you. Stop trying to ask questions. Stop trying to solve the mystery of life. Stop trying to find a shortcut to max out. I have shared with you everything I know I've given you how to max out. You just have to go and do it. So stop asking questions. Stop looking for answers you don't need. You just need to work. So that's the third point. And the final point that you must ask yourself, do you believe? 
do you believe that your potential, my potential, Japa's potential, Dato Sri Vijay's potential is the same? It's the same. We are the same. We were born babies like you. We were not born as networkers. We went through the same journey of life that you have gone through. Your potential, each one of you, your potential is limitless. You should not be like me. Somebody said, one day, chief, I wish I could be like you. Don't be like me. I'm a moron. Be better than me. Be greater than me. That's your potential. So my question to you and the question to yourself, do you believe? Do you believe that your destiny is to be a max out king or max out queen? Do you believe that your potential is limitless, that you can achieve anything you want? I promise you this. Do you believe? Don't wait for others to believe in you. Believe in yourself. Do you still believe in yourself? Do you still believe that one day you will come on week on stage and tell them the story? Because only when you believe will it become a reality. Are you guys with me? So ask yourself this question. Ask yourself. Always ask yourself this question. Number one, do you still remember your dream? Do you still have that dream here and it moved here and it's living here so strong that you cannot sleep at night, that you think about your dream every single second of the day? The second question, ask yourself, are you really working hard enough? Are you doing rule three? Are you doing the maximum amount of, amount of presentation? Are you pushing yourself out of your comfort zone every single day? Are you working hard enough? Ask yourself this honest question. The third are you trying to hide behind excuses? Are you trying to look for the answer, the mystery to solve before you start your journey? Don't wait for the answer. The answer is within you. You know the answer. Just do what you're supposed to do. Stop hiding behind questions. Stop hiding behind the need to get clarity. I've been doing this business for 26 years. I don't have clarity. Do you understand? But it doesn't stop me. I have Dato Sri Vijay. I trust him. I listen to him. I shut up, listen and do. Are you guys with me or not? There's no need to always figure things out. Life is not a mystery to be solved. Life is supposed to be lived to the max. Be the best version of yourself. And the fourth point is, do you still believe? Remember when you signed up, your belief was so pure so powerful, so unbelievable. Has that belief been corrupted with this reality around you? Has that belief been corrupted by the rejections you face or the lack of success? Don't allow anything to corrupt that belief. That belief is your strongest pillar to be a max out king or queen. So do you still believe that your destiny is max out? That your potential is limitless. Do you still believe that one day Dato Sri Vijay will say your name and welcome you on stage as a, as a V partner? Do you still believe in that? From here, ask yourself these questions. Find the answers. And today, do what you're supposed to do. Are you guys with me? And I want to see you at VCon. I love you guys so, so, so much.